So he go, what's up? You got a truth, player. Hey, I, I, I got a, um, the message you was trying to send, mm -hmm. but, you know, they had me on a Hannibal Lecter trip. Yeah, I was wondering what happened, because they do that to me, too, when I was up in there. Yeah, I heard. Certain people I couldn't write to, like Matulu, they opened my whole letter to him. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, I would get at Matulu, but I would go around a long way, right? Uh-huh. Through this cat named Robin. Uh-huh. And when I get at Watani, I'd go another way, too, right? But well, I, I was like, scared to do that shit. I didn't want nobody else to get to Lenny, because this other cat wrote me and said that you talked to him and it was cool to send it through him, but I was like, shit. Yeah, yeah. I know he said that. Right, right. <laughs> Everybody know I'm trying to get at you. Hey, that was a good shout-out you gave me, man, in the vibe, man. Oh, you know it's all real, man. I've been trying to tell you to your face for the longest time. I'm telling you, hey, hey, but you, don't, hey, you, remember, you don't remember when we met, huh? Nah. Over McCoo's house. Watani said it was up in L.A., right? Straight up, man. I don't remember that shit. <laughs> me and you, I'm telling you who it was. It was, it was me, you, uh, it was Yaka Seedsway, Asenea, uh, Dara, we were kicking over Makungu's pad. I sure don't remember that shit. Yeah. You know, I'll be butted out, though. Man. I know, homie. Hey. There ain't no secret. Hey, hey, you got my number here, though. Nah. You called me, remember? But I got that number from um, Mo. He was oh. with me. He got the number for me. Okay, take this number down. Okay. 909-243-2889. Hey, you know we start shooting the movie next month, right? You do? I'm telling you, man, I want you to play me, man. I want to play okay, you. Okay, dig this. Can't have nobody okay. play you. Dig this. Check us out. Uh, the producer, I mean the um, director, right, mm -hmm. is Antoine Fuqua, a young brother, 28 years old from um, Baltimore, right? But he's straight, straight up cat like us, right? Mm -hmm. And um, he's a good cat. We got a hella pull with him, right? Mm -hmm. We ain't even did casting yet, man. Mm -hmm. You know? You got to put me down. I'm telling you. Got to I'm telling you, I didn't see your shit. I just seen Juice. Oh, you did? I just, because I was locked up all in here. Oh, shit. I just seen your shit, man. Word. Yeah. I just I love the rent. What was that, last night? Yeah. When I was on, up in that jailhouse, I wrote one, too. I'm supposed to be getting that shit together. What else you doing, man? Hey, man, you wouldn't believe I got some dope-ass lyrics. What? I'm serious. I got some shit called Level 5 that's bomb shit. What? Wait up. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm talking about, hey. You got to come in the studio, then. I'm telling I got some shit. So when you going to come through? When can I come through? Anytime you want. I'm in the studio every day. I'm finishing my album. I'm doing the, a double album this Christmas called All Eyes on Me. Hey, man, hey, I'm telling you. I got you. the song with Dre. I got the song with Roger. I got the song with George Clinton. That shit is fat. Hey, hey. I got Sister Soldier coming. If you come, nigga, we could do the bomb. I'm telling you. Together. Hey, check this out. Check this out. I'm telling you, that shit you shot, man, uh, so many tears. Yeah. I mean, I burst out in tears when I heard that shit. You like that shit? Man, you shot that shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, yesterday I was cleaning up the pad. Uh-huh. And I was, me and my wife, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm cleaning up the pad, and, uh... Uh, Lord knows was all right, uh -huh. and that the last verse, yeah. that shit hit me and froze me, man. That's the word, man. Man, hey, hey, homie, I love the shit out of you, man. You <laughs> shot that shit. Player, I'm partner. telling you, brother. I'm telling you. You my player. I was telling you. you just, it was this letter I was trying to say to you, man. When I got when them when them dudes put out the pistols to me, man, who was that, man? It was these fools from New York. This gang out there called A Team. These man. fools was mad because I I told them I wasn't fucking with them no more. Man, them motherfuckers, I was mad as hell about that shit. But when, I, when they pulled the pistols out, I swear on everything I love, first thing I thought about was reading in your book when you was talking about how you felt when them niggas drew down on you. Ain't and that that's cold? exactly how I felt. The setup, the shit you was talking Man, about, the shit, how you just look up and the nigga be like, boom, right like the there at you. Everything was just like that. I'm you, and when you, and when you was, when I was reading about the shit that happened to you, I was like, man, this shit is straight like parallel to me. It's exactly I'm the same. telling you, can't that's everybody... bug me out. Man, I'm telling you, we start shooting in December, man, and no later in January, mm -hmm. and I'll Propaganda's doing it, right? Oh, that's good. Propaganda's doing it with Polygram. Uh -huh. And with the shit is already, man, I'm telling you, I'm going to plug you in, man. I'm plug telling you, can't nobody do this shit but you. We're going to have that Shakur thing. It. All right, I'm going to blow it up. We're going to have that Shakur thing. Hey, I represent it for you. I'm oh, telling you. All of New York. I got all those New York dudes who hate the West Coast yeah. screaming out your name. Telling that shit. I, I was passing your autobiography to niggas because they didn't understand West the West Side. I'm telling you, hey, I seen you on um, BET one time. It was you and John Singleton, right? Yeah. And you asked John Singleton, you read that book, Do or Die? And he said, yeah, have you read Eat to Live? And Watani was there, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've been following you, bro. Yeah, man. I think it's, John Singleton a coward, though. Yeah, I, 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 now I also heard what you did to the Hughes brothers. Yeah. Man. I read about, I read that article um, that an uh, interview Dream did with you. Yeah. Hughes brothers was coward, too. Yeah. Man, I just been struggling out here looking for you, man. I need some help, man. I'm telling you, I, I'm here, brother. Nigga, Whatever I can do, up. man, I'm telling you straight up. I'm, hey, I'm going to plug you in. Got to, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, Pocky. And man. I want to get this uh, this organization started with you. Only we could do it. Right. Let me tell you the idea. Right. It's like where like, we start like this youth league, right? right? Like football league, basketball, football. I mean basketball, football, softball. So 
for girls and boys. I'm yeah. going to get all the rappers to adopt the team. Right. Each rapper have his own team. Coolio have his team. Fetch have his team. I have my team. And we play. And the rappers are the ones that put the money up. We get the field. We right. play. Right. We have, like, the churches come out and sell food. That's real. We have the fathers and the uncles and all of the men in the community. They do security. Right. To get their respect back for the kids and Straight everything. Up. Then we had the FOI come out. We had the deacons from the church. They do security. And we just play football, baseball. You know, get that community spirit going again. I'm with Then it, on the weekends, we have block parties. All right. And every rapper got to get up. Every rapper, nigga, if you got to wreck it out, you got to get up for us. You got to come through a free show for the hood. That's real. And it's like a little tour. We, so we do that. We get all the communities back together. Now, I'm talking to Al Sharpton about this, some other motherfuckers with some power. And then when we do that, we register the voters. And if we can yeah. register them for Democrats, Republican, or Independent. Yeah. Once we register the voters, we have power. Then we start going up to the mayors of these cities and telling them, look, we got this many voters in this city. We want you to do this. We want um, a community center. We start hitting up Nike for the free clothes, the computer yeah. stores for the free computers for each community center. And if they don't, then shit, that's how many people we have in those cities we can regulate. You know what I mean? Yeah. If we telling the mayor, nigga, if you don't do this, then we ain't going to do this. Yeah. We tell them we can clean up the streets. I'm going to have all these tough-ass, supposed-to-be gangster rappers. Straight we're going to all get in the van. We're going to travel. L.A. got to be the last place because it's going to be hardest. But yeah. we can do New Jersey, all of that. We're going to drive to all these drug areas, right? Yeah. Imagine me, Redman, Tretch, Ice Cube, them type of niggas getting out, going up to the um, whoever's the, the main drug dealer on that block, who runs shit? You know, if we get out of a van, be like, what's up, nigga? How y'all doing? What's yeah. up? Yo, who the nigga that runs shit? They're going to take us to that nigga. We invite those niggas to dinner. Invite them niggas to some Jean Perignon <laughs> steak and lobster and be like, look, player, we asking you, not telling you, we asking you as a player to a player, can you please give us a pass to have these streets clean from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Right. Let that be for the kids. Let them the niggas be safe during those times. No gunshots, no drug dealers. From 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., y'all can have the streets back. But let us get the streets from these times. Then we can... Um, Get these politicians. I talked to Al Sharpton. He said he can get the police to like chill out um, on those nighttime patrols if if niggas can get the streets clean from six to eleven. Hey, but and you know what else too though? When I talk to you face to face, I'm dropping some shit on you, right? Some other stuff too, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that, man. You know, I'm with all that, right? And um, you know, that's the, that's my type of work. Yeah, we need power, man. I'm telling you, hey, dig it, man. You know, you, hey, I'm telling you. We got power, man. Yeah, we need power. Power is numbers. and yeah. It's like we think, rappers, you know, man, while we don't have... We got the juice. We just ain't doing nothing with it. it, it because it ain't collectivized. Right. I'll tell you what. Did you see them cats in Chicago? I think they was GDs. Yeah. yeah. The they, push, they put people in the street. I know. They, they be looking out for me when I come out there. And they be running They, they be running people on the ticket, like, for council. I know. They got them... This dude, what's his name? Uh... Some nigga they just had out there, but he lost. Yeah, he Gator. came close. Gator, yeah. yeah he came I'm, close, though. Yeah. Give me some good cats, too, man. I went out there. They be looking out for me, but they be, they be gang. So, like, the one set want me to be down with them. And yeah. The, the, oh, the, the, the Black Stones want me to be with them. Yeah. And yeah. be with them. But, yeah, I had some. I had to run it with them in Milwaukee because that was when that little kid died. Yummy Sandifer. Yeah, I heard you send a shout out to him. Yeah, I did a show that next day when, yeah. after they just killed that kid. Yeah. Because you heard what happened, right? Yeah, they executed him. Right, they executed him. And I was I, I was out there when I did the show. The gang was in the fucking audience. The whole gang had, like, brought out the stadium. Damn. So I'm rapping to the niggas that just killed this little kid. Oh. And they all screaming out, thug life. And I, I felt bad. Like, wait a minute, they got it twisted. Yeah. So I started cursing them niggas out. Like, y'all niggas are cowards. <laughs> y'all niggas cowards. Y'all killed that kid. Y'all niggas is punks, man. I hate all you niggas. I hurt all you. <laughs> them niggas start throwing shit. We what? had out in the stadium. Damn. It was tough, man. The whole Damn. gang tore up the whole neighborhood. But then I started getting letters from that area where all, like, the mothers, the girls was writing yeah. me, like, thank you for doing that because yeah. everybody's scared of these niggas. See, that's what I want to do. That's right. I want to, if these gang niggas ain't going to get straight, then I want to take them out the gang. That's real. Because if they don't, it's making trouble on us. Yeah, you know because I mean? if you ain't part of the, the solution, then you're part of the problem. No and doubt. Therefore, you're going to be you gonna be trying to whack us anyway. No doubt. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. shit. You know, business as usual. That's how I feel. But just for the forces of good, man. You know, I'm with all that, Pac. You know, you anytime... Anything I can do, brother, you know, um, yeah. that's what I'm about, man. I've always been uh, less of a talker, more of a doer. Okay. And, um, you know, I mean, that ain't, you know, that's just my style, man. Yeah, no doubt. You talk to Bone? Yeah, in fact, me and Bone. He better do something, too. Yeah, Bone is doing, when they shoot the movie, Bone's doing a documentary called The Making the Monster, right? Oh, he is. Yeah, <laughs> and he's also doing another documentary, man, about, about street gang back. Yeah, about street organizations. Yeah. Some old footage from the Panthers and stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, the shit is, is fat, man. How's mom's doing? She doing good. She, we just had a show in Vegas. Did she? 
We had a big ass show in Vegas, me and the dog, because I'm on death row now. Yeah, hey man, congratulations. Thanks. Man. You happy over there? Yes, all right, so far. So, right, oh, let right. me tell you, hold on one second. All right. What's up with the case, though? Shit, it's going crazy now. I just, damn, hold on one second, please. All right. All right. They wanted you to compensate them? They tried to sue me. What? These fools shot at me. And you defended yourself. And they tried to sue me. And white people was crazy because if this was anybody else, they'd get that nigga a ticket tape parade. Straight up. Unarmed man. Two motherfuckers. That was fucked up. Yeah. So they suing me. I got this girl who lied about the rape shit. She's you smoking weed right now, huh? Huh? You smoking weed right now, huh? Cigarette. Oh. <laughs> I will be focusing with my homeboy to come over here right yeah. now. Yeah. But um, the girl, see the girl that did this rape shit, she hooked up with the niggas that shot me. Oh, is that right? It's all connected. It was a big plan. I just caught it like at the end, and that's why they shot me. Man, hey man, you gotta stay up, man. When you when you step through that that way, man, you gotta be on point. Bro. I ain't going through there no more. If I do, I'm going with a hundred motherfuckers. Yeah, I'll be one of them. Yeah. No doubt. Cause, man, no we, can't, out. we can't be having you not here, you know what I'm saying? I know, that's what killed me, but you know what? You know what it was? Here's my problem. Just like I'm feeling you what you said. I always, because of where my mom raised me, the way this, this, the um, movement is, yeah. they fucked my head up in a way. See, like you, you could be um, movement orientated, but you got the gangbang shit first in right, your mind. Right. My shit, the gangbang shit comes second to me. Right, right. And now I'm trying to make it come first because that movement shit will fuck you up. Movement shit got me loving every brother. Yeah. You know and, what I mean? And, and, and therefore, you let everybody get next to you. Right. And, and everybody got a chance to whack you. I'm there for you. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Nigga need yeah. money, a job, I'm with you. But, Niggas can come up to me with guns on. Niggas be hugging me with tax on. You know what I mean? But this though. You know what? The thing is, man, um, we got to be individuals, too, inside the movement and whatever we're involved in, right? Mm -hmm. We, we got to be able to differentiate between cats that are firm and cats that ain't firm. And sometimes it takes some time of a test, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but when we talk about, for instance, me, man, you know, I am who I am. I survived through what I survived through by being intelligent, by, by not al allowing cats to outsmart me, put me in precarious position where I can get whacked, right? Mm -hmm. So I choose my friends uh, very, very carefully. And I understand that there's layers and layers of friends, you see? Mm -hmm. There's some I hold close to the body, man, like a vest, and there's others I hold at arm's distance, and some I just look at, mm -hmm. and some I don't even fuck with, right? But the circle is small, but the ones that are in there, I believe are trustworthy, right? Mm -hmm. For instance, you and I. You and I have been primarily through the same shit, man, in our lives. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? And we're like 10 years apart almost. Mm -hmm. So it's like you and I share a common, almost common destiny. Mm -hmm. You know, what you grew up in is what I came around to. You see what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. you pointed out that the banging shit was first with me, and then the movement. With you, the movement was first, and then the banging was came second. Yes, that's the ill so shit. I'm getting around to where you grew up at. And I'm getting around to where you grew up you at. You see, so, so who else better? You see who can get along than you and I, no and, and watch each other's back. Cause no you doubt. want it, I want it. No doubt. But together, but you know what I mean. We, yeah. you know, you, you, man, you got the, you got the courage of a gunfighter. When I read that shit, what happened with when Dream Hampton wrote that piece mm -hmm. down there with the pigs, right? Yeah. I was like, it's my boy, man. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? See, that's my, that's another problem. I'm helping another nigga. Nigga, I don't even know. Yeah. Nigga in the middle of the street getting beat up. I'm helping him. He run off and don't even help me. Yeah. That's fucked up, man. These niggas just shot me like when the shit happened. When white people put, when the white cats pulled the gun on me, I was prepared. You 
know what I mean? I don't can fucking react. I'm when a nigga that. pulled a gun on me, I like froze up like, oh shit, a nigga gonna kill me? Yeah. I'm telling you, you know, you know what we should do, Pop? Hmm. I'm telling you, me and you should sit down, right? And we should do a book on you, man. Yeah? You know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm talking about trying to do that. Check it out, man. A straight up autobiography or something like that based on your life. Like Malcolm mm -hmm. had sat down with Alex Haley. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man. Because the shit that you've been through and I've been through, just like my book, man, I had to document that shit. Hey, your book is a on everything, homie. I'm not just saying this. Your shit is a classic. Okay. Yo, it's niggas. It, when I was up in that jailhouse, yeah. niggas who hated Westside, they don't like nothing. They was loving you. I had motherfuckers speechless. Is that they was right? reading niggas that can't read. Was yeah. reading this shit in one day. Yeah. Nobody could put that shit down. But I'm telling you, hey, hey, but yours would be just as explosive. And I'm telling you, brother, I guarantee you, before we even get through with the book, Hollywood would be on our job. <laughs> you know, I'm doubt. telling you, man. They already, they already want me to do something. I'm telling you. I've been holding them back because I can't get the right one. I asked like my Angelo to help me write an autobiography. She was like, okay, man, but it's but a you, time. Thing. You know what you need. And also, too, you know what you need? Somebody just to write it from from our level. Yeah. To kick the slang, they have this shit right. My Angelo might put some perfect English in that motherfucker. And it ain't gonna come out you right. Know, you know, you and I, we gonna kick the, the the language we kick. I think I'd be like your shit. I'm telling you. Hey, but you know what you gotta put me here to? What? Overstand. I'm telling you. That, put me here to overstand, that, Okay, man. dig it. This is the thing. All right. Lil Musta try to do it one time, but I ain't catch it. Okay, dig it. Um, the word understand. It, 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 it's a play on one's uh, one's person, right? For instance, to understand, to stand under, to be below, mm -hmm. to be demeaned. And so when you're under anything, it's hard for you to get a whole view of what's going on above ground. Uh -huh. So when you're under, you have a disadvantage. So, or especially when you're standing under someone or under anything, you can't comprehend it, you can't feel it, you can't vibe with it. So I created the word overstand, to get up over that shit. Mm -hmm. To get a vantage point where you're looking down on some shit. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a helicopter got a vantage point over us when we have to get get in the street and break. Right. They can see us better than the pair car at, at our level. So I like that. The helicopter has an overstanding of us to a great degree. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So yeah. what we have to do, and words control people, man. I'm telling you, when you think, when you when you speak positive, you think positive. So all the time, I be trying to overstand shit, get a full comprehension. That's right. You feel me? That's right. So um. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's where that came from. That concept came from. Man, I'm so happy you were about that shit, man. Man, they had me on A. They I had me they like had Pops. They had me like Pops. I know they had I'm telling you, me and Pops was like, because when they had, when they had Matula over in, um, Marion, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we were getting our correspondence on, and he sent me the third code, you know, of course I endorsed it, right? Mm -hmm. Um, then, next thing I know, I got a, uh, a, a, a clipping on, on prisoners of war, and they had sent him over thorns. So then we had to do a whole nother trip with the mail, right? Uh -huh. And then I just heard that, um, Chin had drowned it, but he's yeah, well yeah, now. Yeah, right now. He's not well now, ain't he? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. He was on respiratory? Yeah. Man. I'm in jail, too. They telling me this shit. Yeah. But, um, the shit that's fucked up is like when Matula, like, me and him used to talk all the time. When I first came to L.A., yeah. he was like my eyes and ears. I told him everything. Then I think the crackers got a hit that day. He was like, we was talking every day. Yeah. And that's, they just killed that shit. I haven't talked to him in, in like a year, more than that. Well, still, they, you know, of course, um, you, you you got legacy movement problems with the pigs. They yeah. can't stand to see you, brother, because you you of the bloodline. You ain't lying. You got them deep roots. They are calling me. Hold on one more time. All right. Hello? Yeah. Man, they was calling, man, the shit that I couldn't, even reading your shit, like how you be saying when you was up in there, niggas like hitting a nigga in the nuts and all that yeah, shit, yeah. you ain't lying. I get up there, these motherfuckers calling me nigga, and I'm I'm bugging out, I never had no white people calling me a nigga, and nothing yeah. happened. And in this day I was at, you get seven years if you touch the police, no matter what. What? Seven years, no matter what. Because I was in max security, maximum security. At Danamora, huh? At Danamora. Yeah. Then they had me in a special program, like a federal program they got called um, APPU, Advanced Placement, something, something, something. Yeah. Where it's all, like, notorious motherfuckers. Yeah. So hey. I'm up in there with niggas with 80. Damn, one more time. All right. Hello. Yeah. I'm up in there with niggas with 80 years, 60 years, and I'm doing one and a half to four and a half. Yeah. And, they, and I'm knowing my life in danger. These niggas ain't never getting out. Yeah, I seen moms on um 
on Team Summit, she was explaining that, right? That they had you in the maximum security prison. Yeah. And I was like, Locked down 23 hours a day. That's how they had me. Before man. I even broke a rule. And that's heavy. They didn't give you the opportunity to break one. They was like, it's for my own protection, because I wouldn't sign into D.C. Oh, fuck that So shit. they got mad, right? Because yeah. he was telling me, you're going to die in here. You're going to die in here. I said, well, I'm going to just have to die. I'm not signing no P.C. That's He's right. like, well, we're going to put you in I.P.C. That's involuntary protective custody. Right, right. So I'm fighting. I'm getting lawyers to fight me to get out of I.P.C. to get me in population. Because yeah. they put me in population the first day I got there, right? And was they it cool? Me, huh? Was it Hell cool? yeah. Even though I'm on the other side, I'm with all enemies. These niggas hate me because I'm throwing up west side. I'm That's banging right. on the east coast. That's I'm right. screaming west side, west side, nigga. Right. Any team, everything. So, um, but when I get there, the, the pigs didn't give me no, um, they didn't give me no toiletries. You know, when you come there, yeah. you get that cot and don't be yeah. nothing else. They yeah. made me like it was a bloody cot, blood all on the cot, no nothing. They left me in population for like two hours. In two hours, I had everything I needed. Niggas brought me toothpaste, toothbrushes, a cool. banger. Niggas were bringing me knives, weed, heroin. And cocaine, everything I wanted. I was like, nah, I'm cool, homie. I don't That's need real. that. I gave niggas the bangers back. I didn't want no bangers. I want, they weren't about to set me up for nothing. That's there was real. three murders there while I was there. Damn, I bet she was jumping up. You was like, damn, man. Uh. We had the highest level of murders in New York State. Damn. Niggas was getting murdered, man. Niggas with the same time I was having. Down the moron. Huh? Yep, they crazy up there. It was popping. Crazy up there, riot, you know they what? riot. They've they, they, they been hooking you up on the videos. You, were you happy with your videos? Yeah, no doubt. I, I wanted to just to keep my face out there. Yeah, they shot that shit. Yeah, we finna shoot another video this Wednesday. That's cool, man. Me and Dre finna do this shit called California Love with Roger. Oh, okay. That's gonna be the bomb, man. Give it up for California, man. Yeah, I'll be glad to see you back and back out there, too, man. Oh, I got to take it all back, man. I won't be happy till I do it, because they gotta be sorry for what they did. I'm telling you, hey, I'm with you, man. We got to, man. Hey, but check it out. I want to come down and chill with you, man. Come on, man. What's up? Um, I'll be having um operations from the bottom. Yeah. They be up in there with me kicking it. Yeah, I like them. I, I gave a shout out to them, yeah. But I'm telling you, I got some lyrics, man. Come on, I want this. Nigga, you come with some lyrics, you can spit on any one of the songs I got. I got some shit, I'm telling you. I That's got for sure. We could do a song. You just got to come on. I'm in the studio today. I'm in the studio every day. Okay, but what about um Friday? Friday, I'll be there. That's what Sister Soldier coming to. Okay, I'm going to call you. Uh, uh, what time you, um, before you be going? I'll be, I, I don't want to until 1 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to call you, man. All right. All right, I'll be here, man. Oh, I love you, man. Well, love, love you, hey, too. Hey, man, watch yourself, brother. No doubt. I hate that to come there and test shit up for you. Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't, don't send me back to Boston, bro. All right, man. All right. <laughs> come check me, I, man. I will. All right. All right.